Nick. Smith's in behind. Hopkins chasing. Shoot! And scores! Great forward again. Here we go! Lines it up. They are late! Lines it into the bottom corner! Really well there. Moffat. Cut inside. Moffat! What the fuck? Welcome back to FBTV, part of the Football Brisbane Media Group. I'm Robert Blanche and we're here at University at George Negus Stadium for the Round 1 Veto League clash between University of Queensland and Capalabar Bulldogs. And as the players make their way out onto the field, let's check the team lineups. Adrian Nitsky, Nathan Lamont, Dylan Murphy, Matt Stanley, Dan Shepard, Chris Watt, Will O'Brien, Nick Belton, Wyatt Davis, Cohen Bell. The officials for tonight's match are referee David Wiebe and his assistant referees Ashley Stout and Darren Quinlan. University knocking the ball around nicely early, intercepted. Sergeant in the middle of the park pushes it for Schiavo, probably a bit wide, but he'll have the opportunity to cross and does. And Cook comes and claims on the edge of the six yard box. Drew it, Shepherd in attendance, overly so, and a free kick out wide for Capalabar. Drew it with the free kick, swings it in. Will Samuels with an important touch with Schiavo coming in at the back post. Corner swung in, Sargent comes, doesn't connect, and it's clipped clear. Marshall. Everybody's still up, ball into the box, flicked on, Herford, Herford! Shut down by Samuels at the last second. Cook with the long clearance, flicked on. Nobody wants it in the middle of the park. Free kick, referee unhappy with the challenge. Palabar's taken it quickly. Early ball, great ball, great touch, and he's, Schiavo's put his shot just past the post. Watts. Out wide, ball swung in, and it the near post. Shot's gone wide, well defended in the end. Marshall loses out, ball in for David, tries the reverse, doesn't work, Sargent comes away with it, gets his head up, slides it up the line, Chiavo, he'll use his pace, and does, cuts it back, and it's behind everybody, and cleared. Corner swung in, ooh, an, an important touch in the front of the post, Cook gets a touch, it's not clear yet, finally. The ball's served up the park, but straight back to Capalabar. That's not doing Uni any good in this heat. Sito, look to go around his man. Oh, Nutty's on Samuels. Pulls it across, and Cook, brave at the feet. Sergeant does well. Laid back, good play, Schiavo. Great reverse ball, Warden, oh, touch the pass, Cito, he drags his shot, well wide of the goal. Sherwood, back for Marshall, in early, Schiavo under plenty of pressure, battling well in there, Anthony Schiavo, Uni come away with it though. Marshall in strong, wins the ball, Harding, good challenge. Another strong challenge, and too strong, according to referee Weeby. He wants a chat. Nobody's happy by the looks of it. Watts swings in the corner. Good one. Oh, free header in the end over the bar. Second half here at George Negger Stadium. Ball clipped forward, not dealt with by Bratton. 
Watts leaves it. Great through ball. Cross the face. Oh, well cleared. Marshall dispossessed Herford. Bratton. Palomar break quickly. They keep the ball moving through Warden. Oh, and Sargent's brought down. Nicholson, I believe. Early ball in. Poor touch. Watts comes away with it. Marshall in strong, crunching tackle. Played forward. Schiavo. Schiavo shoots. And Cook down well to his left to deny the big striker. Clip forward up the line. Great close play on the side. Capalabar, confident, knocking the ball around. Easy giveaway, but it's one back. Sergeant leaves it. Warden with the shot. A deflection. It's got Cook scrambling, but goes wide of the post for a corner. Corner swung in. Headed back. Only as far as Marshall. Touches it off. Bratton for Druick. Back for Bratton, good ball in, Sargent! He's diving header, has come off the post, and he's fortunate that he didn't collect it himself. Druick, Sherwood, scuffed shot, Chiavo battling, Sargent! Straight into the chest of a grateful Sam Cook in goals for University. Druick with the throw, Sito, good close control. Flicks it in for Druick. Great ball. Great run, Joel Druick. Cuts it across. It's missed everybody. And put out for a corner. Throw in. Flicked on by Cito. Important touch by Sergeant. Chiavo into space. Gets his head up. Plenty of options. Back for Cito. Pulls the trigger. What a shot. What a save. Let's have a look at that again. Here it is. Brilliant strike, moved late. Fantastic reflexes from Cook and Goal. Corner swung in, it's a bit far for everyone. Sergeant retrieves. Marshall into the box. Laid back, Chiavo, desperate defending and out for a goal kick. Sherwood down, strong challenge. Free kick on the far side to University. Dangerous position, all the tall timbers up. Watts floats it in, and oh! Nicholson with a free header, should have scored. Nicholson turns, beats his man, great through ball for David. Loic David around the keeper, gets his head up, back it comes, and the shot! Off the side of the boot. Rosengren will collect the scraps. Does well. Good skills, Rosengren. Headed back. Shepard lobs it into the box. Header away. It's a bit of head tennis at the moment. Bratton. Sherwood puts it forward. Giving it straight away. One back on the far side. Palabar come late. He'll try to get to the line and bring it back. Cuts it back, Sergeant miss kicks. Drew it surely off the defender and out for a corner. Sito forward, giving it straight away. Uni looked to build up, oh well in. Nicked it, Schiavo gets clipped, keeps going. Warden, great through ball, Sergeant. And well defended in the end. Didn't let him have a shot on goal. Sherwood. And that's the final whistle here at George Negus Stadium, which sees the end scoreline. University of Queensland FC, nil. Kapalabar Bulldogs, nil. Glenn, um, a hard-earned point. Um, hard conditions, but at this time of the year, that's to be expected. Uh, must be happy, I suppose, with the point today? Yeah, definitely. Definitely happy with the point. Um, we know that Sides don't like coming here, and you know, especially early in the season at, at this time of day, half an hour early today, even because of the, the raw game tonight. And you know, to be honest, after the, the last couple of performances, you know, our, our first team's only really had three hitouts in the preseason, and 
and half a dozen training sessions. So, you know, I think we can be the, you know, probably a bit happier than Capalabar considering their, their pre-season schedule. They, um, they'll probably be a bit disappointed with that. But um, on balance, I think, you know, they, had, they probably had the better of the chances. But, uh, but to my boys' credit, they, they worked their tails off again, as, as they do, and uh, created a few opportunities themselves that on, on another week we'd probably expect to take. But, uh, yeah, no, really happy with the, with the effort and the commitment of the boys again. And that's, you know, that's something you get at this club and with this group of lads. So. It's a good start to the, to the season, trying conditions. Um, you can only improve from here, and I think with a few more games under your belt, um, you showed signs of playing some, some good football, the typical uni football that we got used to from last year. I think maybe in two or three, maybe two or three weeks when everyone starts to settle a little bit more, you've got your players back, um, be a better gauge to how you're going to go this season. Yeah, definitely. I think, I think probably two or three months is probably what we're looking at. To be, to be honest, to be, to be where I, I want us to be, it'll be at least two or three months. Two or three weeks I expect us to be better than we are now, yeah, but it's that gradual progression through the season that we're looking for, not, not the, you know, start up here and, and tail away. We, um, we want to start at a, at a decent level, I think we showed that today, and then, and then make sure that we build on that through the season. And, um, you know, as I said, the, the group of players that had the experience of last year and a few fresh faces coming in, I'm, I'm pretty hopeful that that'll go to plan. <laughs> Brian, a hard ask in these conditions uh, for the first game of the season, but uh, the side showed signs that um, the style of football that you're trying to implement at Kapalabar is well on the way to coming to fruition. Yeah, I hope so. I hope, I hope the spectators saw the chance we created, especially in the second half when oppositions do get a little bit more tired and um, yeah, we, we, it seems to be working. Yeah, we just got to put a couple away and I'm sure the momentum will start and we'll be OK. Um, I can't complain about the game today. It's um, a hot day, you know. Boys, both teams fought well, did did the best they could, but you know we did have a chance to score. They had a couple of themselves, so there's no there's no um, denying them. I, I've been told it's a tough place to come to, play uni at uni. They do steal points of a lot of teams. Well, today they did a good job, so all all credit to them. You created a lot of chances, uh, both in the first half and the second half and I suppose on another day you could have well been up by four by half time um, had things swung your way wasn't to be and nearly got caught late on by um, by uni on the counter attack yeah absolutely absolutely you know I've spoken to the lads and I said to them in the past couple of years um, when have they ever created four or five up to ten chances in, per half you know that, that's the positive side that we have and it finishing is another story you know, the ball in the 18 yard box had never fell for us today as well as we had liked. You know, Scotty Sargent's diving header could have been great. Geordie Sito, absolute fantastic strike on goal, and the keeper was amazing to stop that. But hell, they came through, they've, they've, done, they've had their chance, and it's football. You know, there's no good sitting here talking about having 10, 15, 20 chances if you're not going to put one away. You only have to put one away to come home, go home with three points, but today wasn't going to be that day. And uh, we'll go back, try to work on the positives out of that match get your copy from you guys and we'll be right we'll figure it out you've got the first one under your belt as the uh, as the gaffer here at um, yeah. Capalabar that must that must be a relief in itself uh, to be honest it hasn't really worried me you know having played at a decent level and the, the, it comes with the territory you know I don't I don't get nervous and worry too much you know I try and keep them focused on their, their game I've noticed the league over the past few years, you, you do get a bit of panic football coming in and we, we're just trying to play more composed. We were a little bit pedestrian today, you know, we, we're playing the structure well, we're playing the system well, but it's it's still going at teenage pace. We need to just pick up the pace. Whether the weather had, had to deal with it was, was a factor in that, possibly, but that's what I want to try to do. The, the ball movement was not quick enough. and and. Other teams can defend against it if you can't move the ball very, very quickly. So that's what we try and do. And from, from now on in, I've learned a little bit. As, yeah, probably have learned a little bit first game out, see the intensity. Uh, I'm not daunted by it at all. So we'll just hopefully we'll go to next week and see our North Star come, come to Kapalaba. There we have it. A nil-all draw here at George Negus Stadium between University in Queensland and Kapalaba Bulldogs. Tomorrow the cameras will be out at Carmichael Park for the clash between reigning champions Wolves FC and North Pine United at 4pm.